Yeah, I got like depression issues and shit. And like, that, I definitely do. That's a life of dark roads. You feel me? I go through that shit all the time, like anxiety and shit. I just be like, I, I really to myself, bro. Like, I don't, you feel me? I'm just like mad weird. I be paranoid a lot and shit. So like, I stay to myself. I feel like it's just better that way, you know? But I definitely try to like, open up more now. I got like fans and shit. I gotta really step out my comfort zone. Like, I just started feeling, you know what I mean? I can say like feeling better, like after my shows. But know me, after my shows, bro, I be like, like hurting, like feeling like shit, like sad. There's a lot of shit too that I lost. Like, I lost a lot of friends. I lost a lot of family to this shit. All types of shit, bro. And it's like, that's the sacrifice you gotta make because this is what this life brings. You know what I mean? I'm only 19. I do too much shit in my life, like, that a man does that. You feel me? I'm just not no kid, like, real funny. People look at this, people see the interview, like, oh, Scott's this, like, a nigga, I'm, I've been a man, like, I promise. I said, always said that. I've been a man. Since a young age, bro, like, I've been on my shit. Young age, bro, like, always paid my bills, always had a job, always did shit. I was always, just always, you feel me? I never, like, I was always consistent with everything. School, sports, music, everything. I made sure, like, that's how I am, and that's why I want the fans to know, like, even when they watch this shit, like, they see that shit, they see the dedication, and they want to chase this shit too, bro. Oh, it's Lil Skies, you watching Noisy Raps. And I got all the drugs in the world that you need We get high to pass time, but bitch, I ain't no fiend I got money on my mind, I be stacking my green Shawty say she like my style, I be dripping with ease Please don't send me naked pictures, I don't like the BT Say she got that super soaker, but well, girl, just let me see Plug your SoundCloud, bro? Yeah, bro, you were playing. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Lil Skies on SoundCloud. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Yeah, small town. Small town. There's not really much to do, that's it. That's how I like started. I probably said this house tour. I got my reason why I smoke weed, for sure. Like, but like, that's definitely why I start smoking. There's just not shit to do, bro. Like, you feel me and that shit to do is niggas just be, we just be smoking, everybody just be getting high type shit. My flow was kind of cheesy and they looking for the wheezy and I used to eat nachos but they were too cheesy. Now I moved up to burritos, I'm hanging with my breezy while she making me mosquitoes. Gotta keep it real though. I wanted to first start doing music bro cause I ain't, that's just, it's just something that I love. Like, that's just something that I was so like into. It's just like as a kid when you find something that you like, like kids find toys, they find Pokemon, they find all that type of shit. That's just what music was like that for me. It was just like something that I wanted to pursue. And then my dad was doing this shit too, so it was like, all right, you know, my dad, I already got the studio and shit, maybe I should like try this shit out, you know? Who is the greatest rapper in the world? Hi, Kai. <laughs> yeah, man. There we go. So my dad was rapping, making music. I can't describe it. Just looking at my boy, it just I can't describe. It. I just look at him like I, I helped create that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, this was his life. This is what he knew. Like our relationship was music up until I got hurt. April 28, 2010. I don't know if you can see it, but I got him right here, April 28th, 2010. It's the day of my dad's accident. Um, my dad was basically at work. He was mixing chemicals and acid into the into this ground. He was dumping this barrel into the ground. Some shit happened to cause like a static reaction. He said he looked down. He just felt like a whole bunch of heat. He looked down into the hole that was in the ground, and the heat just like blew up. The shit just like blew him up like like 30 feet back or some shit. And then um, yeah, he just caught on fire. Like my dad's a burn burn survivor. I think, I forget what the percentage of his body was burnt, but like his face took the, the most of that shit. So that shit just took a big effect on my life. My dad's black too, but he was like white. His skin was like pink. When I seen him, I was like, oh shit, that shit just fucked me up. I was traumatized. Like, I didn't go to school and shit, all types of shit. They saying like, I might need therapy or some shit. Cause you know, you're a young kid, you go through shit like that and see shit, but I was good, bro. But like, yeah, that shit was fucking scary. Some scary shit. Made me appreciate my life a lot more. Like just seeing him making, you know, making it through some shit like that just made me realize that I can make it through anything too, you know? 
So uh, a lot of talk uh, going on with your son right now basically has taken over the world in literally, I would say, six months. Yeah, I mean, I always, like I told him he would be a star, but I think the thing that I missed was the superstar part of it. music i'm just in my own world i'm in my head like people love that shit that's what's dope though people because like people really be appreciating my shit even when i think it's like okay maybe this song i don't know if i like it that much but then i see the reaction you know what i mean like i just dropped i dropped a throwaway song and it just hit it's a million views bro now you say a throwaway song just a song that i was like all right i'm not gonna do nothing with it like you feel me and it just did and that was like cool like what the fuck i ain't put no promotion or nothing behind it bro just did that like that's crazy bro because like damn it's like all right you gotta like really believe in your shit more and push your shit more that's the type of shit that been getting me through just shit like that you know Vans we used to listen to, Cameron. Van oh, bands. Vans, Vans. Pierce the Veil. Pierce the Veil. Memphis Vampire. Uh, uh, Chelsea um, Grand. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah pretty much. Like, we, we, that was the shit. That was shit. the people we looked up to at that time and shit. So he started listening to a lot of underground rap shit, and then I started listening to it. It was like organic. And then the whole, whole time I like still like made like fucking alternative music and shit. I just liked, I, I liked the rap shit a lot, and then eventually I just started like messing with beats. I was playing one of Sky's songs and one of Cameron's vlogs. He saw that, and so he DM'd me, and I was like, oh shit, little Sky's DM'd me. He was like, we need to work. Oh, like a week later, he sent me Red Roses. I was like, yeah, I gotta come out to uh, Pennsylvania and record that, because he had his uh, engineer set up up there, so I was like, bet. Lando's well, doing music too, just like me, but I listened to one of his songs, and I was just watching one of these vlogs from um, Cam Cuff and shit. I was watching one of his vlogs, and then I seen Landon in there was listening to my song. I was like, oh shit, this is piped up. So I just was like, I love that. Yeah, Landon got me more into shit, you know? Landon, de I would say Landon definitely opened my ear for certain more shit, too. Yeah. This motherfucker, they, they smoke weed. Bro, he needs to get seven. a Cuff Boys tat. Bro, look, Come on, are y'all ready? He get to get, yeah. Oh, if shit. it gets too hectic, I'd have this, so oh. I don't get high. <laughs> like, dead ass. Bro, bro, I don't want to get high on, like, second and high. Like, that's, I don't know, I have anxiety towards it. I just, this is the way I, I'm going. And to me and Landon, we just like smoking, so you feel me? We just connect in a lot of ways. We just mad chill. We think a lot. We think the same a lot type shit. So it was like, you know, just get along, I guess. Skies came up so fucking quick. It's like, he's just so different. Like, I don't know. Like, the way he looks, too. I don't know. He just looks so crazy. Like, he's getting more and more face tats. That's helping, too. He just doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, That's and he just doesn't is. give a fuck. That's true. And it's always been like that. Because I've, I've been watching him for a while. It's always been like that. He's always like, Ever since, like, I don't know, I, th I think I've been watching him since he was like 16. Like, he's just always really not getting the fuck. Even though people see me, like, I smoke and shit, I work out, all the types of shit, like, bro, I'm in tune with my shit. I'm not gonna, like, just fall to pieces ever, you feel me? I just seen what drugs do to people, and I was just, like, not fucking with this shit, like, at all. And then I'm just type of, I'm too sensitive about my body. Like, yeah, I care about my shit. People do what they want with me, I'm just, I care, I guess, you know? And, and I drink a lot of tea, though, real shit, like, just naturally, bro. <laughs> Even though I'm not sick, I'll be drinking this shit. This is my shit, though. This shit is good as fuck. Little Scott's green tea and rich nigga honey. I don't know what kind it is, but it's rich nigga honey. Raw Manuka honey. You feel me, gang? <laughs> Celery, broccoli, look, come see this shit. I'm gonna show y'all what's on my rider in Little Sky's Green Room. Lucky Charms, water, vegetables, and fruit. 
Healthy boy. How's it, boy? And I really do this shit. No funny shit. Like, this is really real shit, bro. It's lit, though. Game shit. Second show in like an hour. Pipe up. We're going to pipe up. Turn up. Shout out to Noisy, man. Game shit. And I got all the drugs in the world that you need. We get hot to past time, but bitch, I ain't no fee. I got money. Land and fall. You, did you, did y'all got that? Land and fall in there. Put that shit in there. Put that shit in there. Put that shit in there. I think he fell, did he? When he jumped off the shit, did he fall? Yeah. When he jumped down, and then like right there, and he fell. Oh my god. Bro, he fell twice in a row. In like 10 seconds. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was, uh, I mean, it, twice in 10 seconds. It hurt, but it was kind of fun. Letting yeah. it, that's real rock star shit. You get drunk and then just slip. Yo, 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 it's Lush, guys. It's Lion and Kid. It is noisy rap, so we pipe the fuck up. <laughs> I'm still trapping every day. I think I'm stuck in my ways. If you looking for a handout, get the fuck out my face. 